Good evening. Once again, we return to the story of Caius, Spellsword, Dunmer, Eternal Champion, former agent of the Emperor, current head of the Blades in Vardenfell, Hortator of the Great Houses, Nerevarine, Slayer of Dagothur and Sothisil, Savior of Ebonheart, and currently recording very late and on a very cold day, so there may be the occasional tea break. Now if memory serves, we will be... We still need to find the Poisoner, and um, we do still need to visit this part of the map. But for now, we'll content ourselves with the Earth and Water Stone, and then the, uh, we'll return to the Windstone to try and figure out what's going on there. <clears throat> but for now, we'll head west. <clears throat> Where are my gems? It's all full. This is purely for the experience. Excuse me. It's tempting, it's worth something, but uh, the weight's probably gonna. Well, let's give it a shot. like there should be uh, something I can go through here. sound cues.
<clears throat> Excuse me. I do feel a little bad that um <clears throat> I do feel a little bad that I'm waiting for the death animation when I know that it's gonna come back. <laughs> so Yeah yeah yeah, come on, get on with it. It's funny, it's obvious that we've been here before, but uh I don't really remember a lot of this. Hello, Caius. Are you here on assignment, or did you just stop by? I have nothing for you, Caius. Work continues on the colony, but we have no need for your help at this moment. Fair enough. store that I could uh, sell off some things at. <clears throat> now this isn't exactly on my way, but no, oh, that's a nice shot. I am going to um, make a small detour just so that I can see the details on the map. Normally I'd justify it as an attempt to try and find the poisoner, but we know that if they live in um, a snowy biome, this doesn't help me at all. You will die where you stand! Skyrim, but um, close to Skyrim is definitely a, a nice looking little place. There are parts of uh, Canada that I've been to that basically look just like this. Flexibly pick up um, weapons, even though they're usually worth less than what their um, <laughs> their more simple counterparts would be like. I don't know why. Just I think it's probably a, a question of averages. On average, if I buy more magical weapons and sell them off, they're going to be worth more than if I um, I take my weapons. Alright, 
so clearly my night mission is uh, at an end. So the Earth Stone should actually be somewhere in this area, I think. Probably a little bit further north. Oh wow, uh, looks like Raven Rock is a bit larger than I thought it might be. That was just a trick of the light. I thought it was a... Uh, Bear pelts are not bad for uh, alchemy, but I might be up in that direction anyway. particularly conspicuous, but uh, the closer I got, the less promising it seemed to be. So it should be somewhere in this this area. Travel northeast to the cave of the hidden uh, to the cave of the hidden music and learn the song of the earth.
is that most of the potential candidates are all in spots that I haven't traveled yet, so we're getting a pretty decent map of the island. as to what I'm going to find. Oh, well, chose what I know. I'm just going to take a second for a sip of uh, tea. There was a third entrance, but I was mistaken. <coughs> Excuse me. Stealth Hammer. song, but let's uh, explore first.
Alright, let's get rid of some hammers. completely ignored that. It's, uh, it blends into the optical illusion walls quite well. I feel like I'm in a psychology test. Or not test, yeah. Exam. Experiment. If you live close to a university, you'll know what I'm talking about. some cave. care into that to make sure that it was not annoying at all so that they could just keep playing that over and over, right?
Cave of the Hidden Music, I have found a large structure made of stalagmites and stalactites. An odd music seems to be coming from them. found that one of the hollowed stalagmites is struck and produces a musical note like the ones I can hear in this cave. By striking the stalagmites in succession, I was able to recreate the sounds I hear in this cave. Uh, uh, sorry, I hear in this cave. When I did, the pattern changed. After repeating the new pattern, the sound swelled and then grew silent. I should return to the Earth Stone. Well, should probably read the legend to figure out exactly what just happened there. So basically describes what I just did. Fair enough. insist on going down there, but it's already looted. Do you think the sound of the, our Song of the Earth is available on Apple Music? Is there a DMCA warning? Stone is a bit closer to the mountains. <laughs> Let's try and avoid the wildlife if I can.
Hmm. Travel west to a small island off the coast and follow the swimmer uh, to seek the water of life. All right, now before I do that, I'm gonna take a quick look at the paper map. And I wanna see how close I am to... Mm. Not really all that close at all, but I do think I see the island to the west. That's the island I'm heading to, unless it's not on the map, but that's a rather unkind little trick if they do it that way. I'm following the Harker, aren't I? All right, now, because we are civilized people, I found the swimmer, a black horker. I believe I should follow it. One moment, please. It's going to take some bre breathing exercises, I think. I also think I'm not supposed to see it. <laughs> The swimmer has led me to the entrance of an underwater cave. And apparently something hostile. <clears throat> Alright, breathe in. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
After a long, dangerous swim, I have retrieved the waters of life. I should return with them to the water stone. specifically to annoy me. Let's see if maybe we can find the uh, airship while we're here. I wasn't expecting to be this far out, but seeing as we're... we're in the area. Looks like a wolf. Um, I think right now we're probably on the glacier. Probably a little closer to here. Yeah. <laughs> 
Met Louis uh, Beauchamp outside of the Alderun Mages Guild. Apparently, he used Magicka and some patched together Dwemer technology to make his own airship, and then commissioned a crew to fly north to the frozen Isle of Solstheim in search of a powerful magical item. The airship hasn't returned, and Beauchamp is getting worried. He wants to hire me to discover what happened to the airship and its crew and recover the Amulet of Infectious Charm. I've agreed to help Louis Beauchamp discover uh, what happened to his airship and recover the Amulet of Infectious Charm. The cruise uh, was to fly to Selstein uh, in search of a barrow located at the Eye of the Wolf-shaped formation called Rothman's Bane, which is only visible from the air. In order to gain entrance to the barrow, one must utter the name of the wolf that cured, uh, killed Rothmund, Andadje, uh, sorry, Andadje, Andjage, uh, or possibly Andiage. Um, if the wrong name is spoken, the crypt will be sealed forever. Journal of Captain Roberto Jodwin, Commander, Beauchamp Expedition. Entry 1. Today is the day. Beauchamp's airship seems sturdy enough when the crew is ready to set sail. We'll travel north-northwest until we reach the isle of, island of Solstheim. According to Beauchamp, the Hrothman's Bane Wolf Formation is somewhere in uh, near the Mosering Mountains. The barrel we're set to explore is located at the Wolf's Eye. We'll get Beauchamp's precious magic item and be back at the Guild of Mages in a few days. What could possibly go wrong? Entry 4. Damn conjurers, sorcerers, inventors, scientists, and all their academic ilk. Beauchamp promised me his airship would hold together. Promised me that it could be sailed just like a seabound craft. All lies. This monstrosity is barely holding together. We've been trailing bit, uh, bits and pieces of it ever since we left Aldrun. Just an hour ago, we lost one of the Dwemer cogs from the main engine. If we were a frigate or a sloop, I'd be, hol uh, it'd be, I'd be holding her together just fine. But alas, trying to control an airship is like setting to sea with a barrel in a, uh, in a barrel with a spoon for an oar. Entry 6. Land ho! Entry 7. It's normal for a crew member to get edgy, but uh, the Argonian finally went berserk. I told him repeatedly before we left Alderun that an airship sails in the sky and not on the water. He told me he understood, but his fear of heights must have finally taken sway. In a frenzied state, he grabbed the wheel and almost forced us into the sea. I had no choice but to run him through. Swims and Swells was his name, and a good crew member he was before this unfortunate incident. I would have preferred burial at sea, but considering our current situation, we had no choice but to toss his body overboard. We aimed for the ocean, but by that time the airship had drifted over so by that time <laughs> the airship had drifted over so time. <laughs> Alas, I fear we missed and his corpse landed somewhere in the southeastern shores. <laughs> Excuse me. Entry 9. We've located Rothman's Bane. At last, Beauchamp was right about something. The wolf formation runs west to east with the head, the eye, toward the eastern end. We'll look for a place to set down and then explore Rothman's Barrow, assuming that is where uh, Beauchamp said it would be. I must, uh, note that the, I must note that this is going slower than I'd like. There's a fell, ch fall chill, sorry, fell chill in the air, and I don't trust the dark clouds that have gathered over the mountains. 
Entry 11. We have been assailed by a blizzard, the likes of which I have never seen. I feared a storm, but could never have imagined anything like this. Bushamp's contraption is coming apart at the seams, and I don't think we can hold altitude. There is nowhere to land, but land we must. Entry 12. Dead. All of them dead. Most of the crew were killed instantly when the airship went down. The few who that made it uh, the few that made it soon succumbed to the cold. I alone survived. Need to make camp. Snow is blocking my way to the ship's hold. I go to the barrow in the morning. I can hardly write. My hands are nearly frozen. Entry 13. So cold. So cold. So hungry. Madness is taking me. I can feel it. Uh, see eyes. Night eyes. Wolf eyes. They're so hungry. Eye of the wolf coming. White wolf. So cold. Alright, so if we're looking for the eastern part... give up any of these though. Uh... So I can't quite tell from the um, the image here where I'm at. Let's see if I can. All right, so here's the river. I don't buy that the eye is in the east. That looks a lot more like a tail. Anyway, I think I should be going um, northeast at this point. trouble now. Let's see if I just fall out on my own. No! spending so much time trying to um, avoid these enemies that I've gone very far off course. Also, I said I was going northeast. I'm actually going northwest.
I hope this is the right way. Yeah, that looks encouraging. Some they call me Hrothman's Bane, with midnight teeth and moonlight mane. I am the wolf one soul may tame, by uttering my given name. But speak the truth for those who lie, gain not the wealth beyond my eye. And so false and evermore, closed shut will be my icy door. What is my name? Heisenberg. You spoke the truth and won the game, for Anjag is my given name. You have gained entrance to Rothman's barrel. Get the axe in a moment, but I'm trying to uh, try to find the amulet. Fifteenth uh, of first seed. I found the wreckage of the crashed airship and read the journal of its captain. It seems the crew had located Rothman's barrow, but before they could set down, the airship got caught in a surprise snowstorm and crashed into the mountains. I need to get the captain's journal back to Louis Beauchamp outside of Aldrin, uh, Guild of Mages on Vardenfell. It will prove to him what happened to the airship and its crew. I found the door to Rothman's barrow and uttered the name of the wolf uh, Onjag to gain entrance. Against my better judgment, I think I am going to try and uh, get back to the water shrine before we head back to Alderun.
nowhere even near where I want to be, but that was a fun ride on the bus. I forgot where this is. It's on the other side of those mountains. No, it shows what I know. When I returned the water stone with, to the water stone with the waters of life, the stone glowed with a magical fire. I have completed the gift of water ritual. All right. Now, I've got some stuff to sell, and uh, I am a bit burdened. So let's, uh, let's head back home. Just get rid of what we've already got. At least as best as I can, and then uh, I can clean up the rest. Welcome, adventurer. Looking for an equalizer? Something to give you an edge against a superior opponent? When you need to do a lot of damage in a hurry, can't beat a poison blade. Try my inexpensive iron spider dagger and steel spider blade, or an imperial netch blade for even more bite. Outgoing only, I'm afraid. did I do to deserve this honor? I don't think now is a bad time for me to load up on a few other items. No worries. get why I didn't put this over with all the other gear that's too expensive for me to sell. Oh, at 5,000, I'm never going to be able to sell that. <laughs> yeah, this is, <laughs> this spot is less about uh, what I can sell, more about storage space. All right.
I'm going to do something a little different and see if I could do any fortify speed off the bat. start here. Um, let's see if I can fortify strength at all. Actually better still. Let's do the resist magicka first. Oh, you know what? I think I might have just gotten rid of it. So bone meal is a thing. Right now I'm just going to minimize the amount of stuff that I have. I don't think any of these are high priorities anymore. So drain fatigue and personality. That is probably a waste of belts, but I should try and restore agility just in case. All right, next highest is Saltrice. Um, either restore fatigue or drain strength. Thank you. 
that was a nice little, uh, nice little opportunity to clear out a lot of, um, a lot of old, uh, reagents that I had. around with the soul gems. enough. We'll see if I can do something interesting with the change. May I help you outline? Please join me. Did I bring the uh, amulets? So here we're really just clearing out um, potions if I can. So seeing as we're already over, let's uh, pick up some things that are useful to me. Worth a shot. than I thought I was going to get from that merchant, so good news there.
Yes. My potions are definitely getting very heavy. Stop by Alderun. Yes. I'll do a little alchemy first, but nothing, um, nothing too dramatic. Sorry, I forgot to, um, I forgot to mess around with the soul gems. There's still a bit more to be done. Also, what time is it? 2 a.m. I should probably rest. Up on that. Um,
Hail, friend. It's not really worth it. So we should have done pretty well for ourselves, gold-wise, um, white-wise, it's not... I mean, I don't have the gear anymore, which is nice, but I have a feeling that I've, uh, I've added too much weight on all these Fortify Strength and Speed Potions. The good news with those, of course, is that, um, if I find them too heavy of a burden, it's not all that difficult for me to, um, to consume them. almost half a million again. something. Zaline Alderun, please. Now the good news here is that I should be able to get a little bit of Salem. Um, find a buyer for some of these potions. And there are some... I will buy the calm berries just because that's eventually going to get me something for um, more magicka. amulet that he was looking for. Fortify personality, 30 points <clears throat> uh, for 30 seconds, weakness, common disease, and drain fatigue. Caius, you're here, and, well, I mean, you've returned. What news? I explored Rothman's Barrow and found the amulet of infectious chars. I still don't see, have any evidence of showing what happened to the airship, though. 
The, the amulet has been found. You've actually recovered and brought it to me? The amulet of infectious charge? charm? Oh, how wonderful. Caius, I am always, and I mean forever, in your debt. Here, please, take this gold. It's the very least, the smallest thing I could do. You know, I do, that is... I'm curious to know what happened to the, well, the airship. After all, it did cost, I mean, a lot of gold was invested. Didn't I have the, uh... Oh, I forgot to take the journal, didn't I? Alright, well, I'll pick it up, but I'm gonna have to, uh... Actually, you know what? I can do that. Um, I mean, I can do that when I travel back to the Wind uh, Shrine. Greetings. Are you needing of? In need of transport? Severe will gladly take you to Fort Frostmoth at Stol Solstein for a small fee. Another very picturesque view. So let's see if the East Empire Company has anything they want me to do. Want something from me? Stuck here. What is it, Steward? Is this about your current assignment? There's no work for you right now, Steward. Check back in a few days. What about advancement? Who cares about Lord Crackpots? Stuck here. Keep moving. the effort. Alright, so I am looking for the... So I'll see if we can find Glenshul's tomb.
because after the experience of all the others, um, this could be the sort of, uh, this could actually be a much more straightforward event than I, I originally thought. Assuming this is the meat hall. Yes. south and east of the Lake of Ice. So I went underwater for no reason. weapon. It's fine, I still have some mileage left in this hammer. Alright, now I don't think I can get any further southeast. to uncover new parts of the map. Partly this is a chance to uh, find the tomb.
You're not very sure by any chance, are you? Obviously there's something in there for me, but I do want to take a minute to just uh, clear out the rest. I've opened the greedy man's bags and freed the winds. I should return to the windstone. And then from the windstone, we'll head back to the um, airship crash. tiles checked out. The song of Uncle Sweetshare, he he ha ho, to the workshop he will go. My uncle's candy is so sweet, it's such a yummy winter's treat. When the sugar is warmed by the pale hearth light, the happiness spreads throughout the night. He he ha ho, to the workshop he will go. Uncle Sweetshare is coming near to spread his candy and his cheer. It's better than trinkets, games, or toys, so say all the little girls and boys. He he ha ho, to the workshop he will go. Candy, candy, he makes so much. Uncle Sweetshare has a magic touch. So it's back to the workshop in the snow with lovely lanterns all aglow. He he ha ho, he 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 ha ha ho. I've opened the greedy man. Oh. And then it said my journal was updated. 
Anyway, it's pretty clear this is where we want to be. So it's back to the workshop in the snow, with lovely lanterns all aglow. Hee-hee, ha-ho, hee-hee, ha-ha-ho. Hee-hee, ha-ha, can it be a visitor in my workshop? How can I help you, sweet Caius? I have candy treats to spare if you come in search of happiness. Oh, so you're here to ask me about the moon sugar investigation. I see, I see, hee-hee-hee-hee. My candy treats are tasty, they are, and filled with special sugar and love. They bring happiness. Happiness to everyone in Solstheim. That's what I do, you see. I give out my special sugary treats and spread happiness throughout the land. It's difficult work, but oh so very rewarding. Manassi certainly thought so. Ha, ah, Manassi, the dear lad. Manassi was my assistant. He helped me make my candy. He so loved his sugar, Manassi did. Loved it a little too much, I'm afraid. He died, you see. Ah, his sweet tooth got the better of him. I buried him just outside. I have a I've had a lovely little ceremony. The horkers came and sang for him, they did. Hee hee ha ha ha. Alright, tell me about the poisonings. That ser uh, Severia Gratius is so grumpy. Maybe I should visit her next, because that's what I do, Caius. I visit the sad and miserable and spread all the happiness I can. It is the way of Uncle Sweetshare, you see. Now that Jaleed, there's a sad, sad boy. His true love had disappeared, don't you know? Very sad, very sad. That's why I sang to him, Caius. He needed something extra, something special. Sugar in a song, it cures all. That's me, you see, Uncle Sweetshare, just like in the children's rhyme. When I found that old song, the lyrics moved me like nothing else in my life. I knew at that moment who I truly was, and I was at be what I was meant to do. So I had this workshop built. I make treats here, you see. Delicious treats with a special sugar. Moon sugar! Hee <laughs> hee! Ha ha! And then I spread the cheer throughout the land. But it's all a secret. Shh. Promise you'll stop poisoning people and I'll spare your life. Just give me your white helm and I'll bring it back to Severia Gratius as proof of your death. Give you my Stop sharing... Stop sharing my sugar. He <laughs> he. Hmm. Distressing. Most distressing. But you you will let me live. I do so love to live, Caius. All right then. We have a deal. Here's my white helm, and you have my promise. I will not spread any more cheer. I will keep the candy all to myself. That won't be so bad, will it? He <laughs> he. Ah. I convinced Uncle Sweetshare to give me his white helm, which I shall return to Severia Gratius at Fort Frostmoth as proof of his execution. The madman promised me he'd stop slipping moon sugar into people's food and drink. I can only hope that he has wits enough to keep his word. sense for me to head to the the stone pick up the journal yeah that's what I'm gonna do so we will uh, turn in the final uh, the final stone we'll double back and pick up the journal and then I'm not sure if I want to recall back right away or if I want to do something else Um, after I pick up the journal, I'll go straight back to Belmora and Alderun, and um, 
I'll turn in the white hat when we return to Solstheim, and then we'll head back to Skull Village. first if I can. I think I moved a little too early. Although I bet this is going to take me back to the airship. I know I've certainly been here. As I approached the windstone, it began to glow with a mystical light. I have completed the gi uh, gift of winds ritual. I think that's all of them. Um, the easiest thing that I can do. One, two, three, four, five, six.
sun. It's going to take me. It's probably just as easy to do the recall now. You've ascended to level 51. The results of hard work and dedication always look like luck to saps, but you know that you've earned every ounce of your success. So really... It doesn't matter. At this point, I only have two more stats to improve. Finally be able to turn this luck around. Uh, one, that shouldn't be me, and number two, it's dumb to, <laughs> it's dumb to uh, save just after an auto save. Reserve. Um, if I can't do Restore Magicka, Conberry goes aside. I think the rest is good to go. So, if we can get rid of Pwn Meal, so much the better. I can do more um, resist frost, but it'd be nice to have a little more um, kind of cross pollination of all the different uh, reagents. You know, for now, I think I'm just going to set these aside.
I will mess around with the soul gems. I should probably drop off the um, the one for the bear, but at the moment I, I'd rather focus on uh, clearing out what's in my inventory. Again, it's not a thorough run through um, all my possessions. Uh, I think I'm still going to keep the hammer. Aldrin, please. What I should probably try and do is find whatever, um, you know, whatever's tied to luck, which I don't think... <laughs> To be honest, I don't think there's any uh, weapons that really help with that. So we've got agility, willpower, strength. Basically any skill. Okay, so if I put on some medium armor, I would actually get some practice with my endurance. Um, also heavy armor, spear. Okay, spear might be a good idea. Yeah, but there's nothing else for me to work on as far as the the luck attribute is concerned. I must say, I find you most interesting right now. Please go ahead. They found the wreckage of the airship. It crashed into the mountains in Solstheim. Sadly, there were no survivors. I have recovered the captain's journal for you. It explains everything. The airship crashed, smashed, was dashed into the mountains. Horrible. Horrible, such a loss of time and money. Oh, yes, yes, human life too. Mustn't forget the crew, people, after all. Well, I'm thankful, grateful, really, that you've come to me with um, this information. Uh, now that I've learned what happened to the airship and recovered the amulet of infectious charm, my work for Louis Beauchamp is complete. Technically, I have no reason to be back on Vardenfell anymore. I won't naturally head back because I'm going to wind up collecting a bunch of stuff, but... Why walk? You can walk. It's gotten a little closer each time I visit. gentleman in a white hat by any chance. I haven't been updating my notes, so I'm going to try and do it. If I seem to be doing weird movements, it's usually because I'm trying to adjust notes. Yeah, this isn't going to work. Um, I 
runs out of batteries, isn't it? <clears throat> Sorry about this. Um. Most of um, most of the tasks are pretty much done. Ah, do you a want visitor. something from me? What may I do for you? Caius, do my eyes deceive me, or is that the white Clovian fur helm? Then the deed is done. The moon sugar poisoner has been brought to justice. Excellent work. The Imperial Legion will not forget you or your assistance. Here, please take this gold as a symbol of our thanks. Stay as long as you like. Greetings. Stuck Stop. here forever. We'll die. die. Once more, with feeling. There's no work for you right now, steward. Check in in a few days. Stuck, Stuck here. here. Forever. forever. I'll die. die. Sorry about all the coughing. I don't know what um, <clears throat> I've... what's done it today, but uh, it's been a rough one. So we might be able to get a little uh, a little reconnaissance up here. <clears throat> Actually, I should probably. since after all. How do I misplace an obelisk? I guess it's not exactly a proper... You know what? I Returned to the Earth Stone, it began to glow with a mystical light. I have completed the gift of the ri Earth Ritual. I have completed all six rituals necessary and should return to Heartfang. 
All right, so that's something of a long journey. <clears throat> what else am I going to do with the time, right? Again, if I can, I'm just going to peek around some of these areas and try and fill in the map. Probably won't be full coverage, but I'll try and get uh, try and get as many of the brown bits covered in if I'm passing by. So I don't have as much use for Holly, but it's not uh, it's not bad for generating a few of that. Most of the potions wind up being about 170 each, so even just being able to generate some throwaway um, potions for merchants isn't uh, too much of a hardship. Uh, it's temp oh no, we've already been here. So at this point it should just be straight north to the village and we are on our way. This time it's not completely covered in a blizzard. You were to perform the ritual of the gifts. I hope your way has been easy. I can tell that the ritual is completed. The oneness once again flows through the land. Can you hear it in the trees? Do you feel the humming of the living land? It is a good thing that you have done here, Caius. There is a careful balance that lies in all things of this world. The animals, the trees, even the rocks and winds. It, uh, it is a harmony that the Skull drew power from. By the grace of the Allmaker, he who gave us these gifts. When the balance is upset, our power is lessened.
I can tell you no more about the attack on the Imperial Fort. If there is information, Hartfang will have it. I'm sorry that I can do mo no more. Oh, yeah. Wrong, uh... Just because the shaman gave me the, uh, the task doesn't mean I have to report back to him. <clears throat> you were told to perform the rituals needed to restore the power of the skull. What have you done? You've completed the ritual of the gifts, and I'm impressed with your efforts, Outlander. But there is more to be done. You have shown a certain loyalty to the Skull, and it surprises me. Tradition dictates that you now hold this, the Mace of Aver's Stonesinger. This is a treasure of the Skull that I do not relish giving to an outsider. Still, you have earned it. For now, uh, for now, it is time to prove your wisdom. What do you mean, prove my wisdom? Though I believe your heart may be one with the Skull, your mind must be as well. To that end, I would have you investigate a crime. It involves two of the Skull. Your actions may decide their fates. Ignar Icemane has been accused of theft. His accuser, Rigmore Halfhand, claims that Icemane stole furs from his house. These furs were indeed found in Icemane's resident. The Skull do not take such things lightly. We have little, and each is given to according to his need. This offense is punishable by exile or sacrifice to the wolves. Icemane will surely choose the wolves. Now speak with the Skull, find out what you can, and then report your findings to me so the guilty man may be punished accordingly. Or appropriately. Ignar Icemane has been accused of stealing furs for Rigmore Halfhand. Icemane is a fine warrior, and he's held a place of honor among the Skull for many years. Rigmore is not much of a warrior, but he is a smart man and a valuable member of the Skull community. What is it that you ask of the Skull? He's a valiant warrior and no thief. Any of the Skull can tell you that. Anyone who would say differently is a liar. He has always proven to be brave and true, and it is impossible to imagine that he would be capable of this crime. And Rigmore. A smart man, but there is something not right about him. He spends too much time at Ice Main's home while Egnar is on a hunt. That is not appropriate. You, who are to be my judge, what would you ask of me? Tell me about yourself. I'm Egnar Icemane, warrior of the Skull. Tell me about the Skull. We are the Skull. I can see why Brigmore Halfhand is considered to be the brains of the operation. All right, tell me about him. I had no quarrel with Halfhand until this day. I thought him a friend to my family, to my wife, Reese Icemane, especially. While I was on the hunt, he was known to keep counsel with her and the others who remained in the village. And now this from him. All right, tell me about your wife. She's my wife, a wise and beautiful woman. Her life is not an easy one, as I am gone often for weeks on a hunt, but she is strong, and our children will be fine warriors. You, who are to be my judge, what would you ask of me? How do you know through your chin? No, never mind. Main. And Rigmore. Yes, I understand that you are investigating Egnor Icemane's theft. Terrible thing. But you were sent to investigate a crime. What can I do for you, Outlander? Tell me about Egnor first. Or, Engar. He always had been a valuable member of the Skull, but he is not a caring man. He leaves his lovely wife for weeks at a time while on, a, on the hunt. He probably stole my furs because he wasn't able to provide enough for his family. Such a sad story. I see. Tell me about yourself. And, uh, you are mentioning a wife. Beautiful woman, deserving a better than her husband. Were I her mate, she would lead a much better life. I've heard everything that I need to hear.
Reese Icemane's a good woman, but she spends too much time in the company of Halfhand. It is not appropriate while her husband is away on the hunt. Agnar has been a valiant warrior for the Skull for as long as I can remember. Both his father and his father's father were known to be brave and honest men as well. His wife, Reese Icemane, will be heartbroken if he's found uh, found to be guilty. Speak with her, Caius. She knows him well. What about her? She's a good woman and comes from good people. Her heart is open and full of love and life. I only hope that her heart does not get broken by this entire affair. And Rigmore. Smart man, but there's something not right about him. He spends too much time at Icemane's home while Agnar is on a hunt. This is not appropriate. You are the one who's to investigate a crime that has been blamed on my husband. How may I help you? Tell me about it. Engar would never do such a thing as this. He is a man of honor, and we want for nothing. I cannot imagine what would drive Rigmore to make such an accusation. Perhaps he is jealous of my husband, and these charges were meant to disgrace him. Tell me about yourself, and Rigmore. He has been a good friend to me until this accusation. We had spent some time together, but now he has decided to ruin my family. And your husband? He is a valiant warrior, but and no thief. Any of the Skull can tell you that. Anyone who would say different is a liar, and he has always proven to be brave and true, and it is impossible to imagine that he would be capable of this crime. I guess there isn't really anything along the lines of evidence. Uh... Ingar Icemane has been accused of theft by Rigmore Halfhand. Apparently, theft is a grievous offense among the Skull, as each is given according to his, uh, his need. It is an offense punishable by death or worse, exile from Skull lands. Ingar Icemane has chosen death over exile. Hartfang would like me to investigate this accusation of theft, bring him proof of the crime, uh, and make a decision based on my findings. What proof is there? Um... I should speak with the people of the Skull Village and find out what I can about the crime. I have been told uh, that many people doubt that Engar would resort to any sort of thievery. He was a respected warrior and known to be an honorable man. Of course, Windai believes that Engar Icemane uh, Eng Engar, <laughs> Engar uh, could not possibly be a thief. He said that the warrior is a much honored and respected member of the tribe, and that it would seem unbelievable that he would steal from another. He suggests that I speak with Icemane's wife, Risi. Reese has told me that she does not believe her husband uh, could have possibly have done what he's accused of. She claims that Halfhand is merely jealous of her husband and that has trumped up these charges to disgrace him. I wasn't sure if that would trigger any... Uh negative reaction. Can you tell me about Reese? Alright, more of the same. Yes, I understand you are investigating. You were to investigate a crime. Have you done this? Come to me when you have more information, Caius. This matter is a serious one, and will not proceed until all the facts have been discovered. Oh, well, this sounds like an absolute joy. Please leave. Please help a sad old man. <laughs> Apparently not. Please leave me be, our dark elf. I don't mean to be rude, but I've suffered the loss of my son, and I don't want company right now. Now, I'm a little curious. That couple that was out by the river.
First phase of construction at the colony has probably been completed. I should see uh, Carnius Magius. introduce to you to Erna. She and I have uh, a love my wife would never understand. I guess you guys aren't uh, up on the latest events, huh? All right, well. I'm not exactly sure of what kind of evidence I'm supposed to find of furs being moved from one house to another. I understand you are investigating Engar Ice Main's theft. I'm gonna try something a little silly. Not silly, but... If I, uh... shot um oh not again give me a better indication of exactly what I'm supposed to do in terms of investigation because right now it's really just been telling me to to find evidence that isn't um,
Dearest Reese, why will you not see me? You know how I, uh, you know how I feel, and I know you feel. <clears throat> excuse me. Dearest Reese, why will you not see me? You know how I feel, and I know you feel the same about me. Please simply consent to speak with me. Just a word, a moment with you would ease my soul. If I cannot be with you, uh, oop. Uh, I will have to resort to something drastic. Please consider your feelings. Your husband is allowed away for weeks at a time with no consideration for your needs. I have always been there for you, and I always will be. We should get together, dear Reese. I feel like this guy's got a Twitch account. I found a note that suggested that Rigmore Halfhand and Reese Icemane have recently had an affair. I should uh, show this note to Reese Icemane and speak with her about the issue. I guess I'm allowed to steal there. You found the letter, have you not? It is true that Rigmore and I had a brief affair, but that has ended. He refuses to let me go, though. I fear that he has caused this trouble just to get rid of Engar. Uh, you should put a stop to this. My husband is a good man and does not deserve this fate. Reese tells me that it is true that she and Halfhand did have a brief affair, although Reese ended their relationship. Halfhand has continued to pursue her affections. I should speak with Rigmore Halfhand about this situation. You found the letter, but why would- This is an outrage! I never- I only wanted the woman. Why did that fool have to choose the wolves? He simply could have left and she and I could have been together forever. You know my crime and you know that uh, I know that you must tell Hartfang. Let us go to him and I will accept my fate. So Halfhand has invented the tale of the theft o over a woman? By the Allmaker, this will not go unpunished. By Skull tradition, making a false accusation carries the same penalty as the crime that is claimed. In this case, either exile or death by sacrifice to the wolves. The verdict is yours to decide. Halfhand would be forced to leave the Skull village, never to return. None of the Skull will hunt him, but neither will they offer him aid, even in his most dire need. He will be dead to this tribe until the end of time. The verdict is yours. Make your choice. And the wolves. The more honorable death, perhaps. The uh, Cainlorn, the ceremonial wolves of the tribe, would be summoned by the shaman, and Halfhand would be fed to them. In that way, his spirit will be purified and reborn, perhaps to a better life than this one that he has chosen to throw away. It is up to you. The verdict is yours to decide. I have nothing to say. My time is done. I choose exile. Then he shall be exiled. Halfhand may never again return to the Skull Village, and he shall be dead to the Skull forever. It is a cruel choice that you have made, Caius, but perhaps it is wise. Here, accept this token. It is unlikely, but perhaps you too can be more like the wolves we revere. You have done well, Caius. You have shown your loyalty and wisdom, but there is one further thing I require of you. You must now prove your strength as a warrior. I wish for you to travel to Lake Felding. I uh, will mark it on your map. Seek out Korst Windai, who has traveled there already. He will give you further instructions. Look for him on the northern shore of the lake. I do feel bad about their mention of cruelty um, in terms of exile, but I don't exactly see being fed to the wolves as a very merciful choice. And I suppose I could make some macho argument about he hasn't earned the honorable death, but... Clearly, the test of strength will be to punch the fire. Ah, you've arrived. These are strange times, my friend. I'm unsure of what magic is being worked to cause such a disturbance on the length. 
lake, but you were sent here to prove your strength. What disturbance on the lake? Fire from water, flame through ice. Strange indeed. Hartfang believes that uh, the Draugr Lord who lives beneath the lake is the source of this, but I'm not certain. I fear that this could be a sign of the Blood Moon prophecy, though I pray to the Allmaker that this is not so. Tell me more about this prophecy. It is an ancient prophecy, one that I hope is but a myth. It tells of a time when the moon above will turn blood red and wolves will walk like men. Uh, wolves that walk like men will walk the land. The prophecy tells of other signs that precede the blood moon, but they are not all easily, easily interpreted. Let us speak about this at another time, for now you are to prove your strength. What about that lord you were mentioning? Once they were warriors much like the Skull. Trapped and hungry on this island, they feasted on the flesh of their fallen comrades, which is a crime against nature. The Allmaker cursed them with undeath forever, doomed to walk the land in search of more, uh, more of the flesh th uh, of man to consume. All right. What do I do to... Uh, what do I do to prove my strength? Heartfying has sent you here to show uh, your strength, your ability to survive in the harshest of conditions. Beneath the lake, there are a series of ice caves. In one of those caves, you will find uh, uh, Aislip, a Draugr Lord. Heartfang believes that he is the one responsible for the disturbance on the lake. Tell me more about the Lord. From what I have read in the histories, uh, Aislip was once a powerful mage who delved in necromancy. As a result of these dark magics, he was made a Draugr. He retains much of his immense, immense power. You are to kill this creature and perhaps end this madness. Take care with this task, task guys. Uh, the situation seems odd to me. Can't imagine why. All right, I want to see if I can just jump in straight through the fire. Potions are my alternative currency. We can check out the other parts of the cave later.
You are brave or foolish to enter this place, Dark Elf, but I sense a bit of wisdom in you. Perhaps I might kill you where you stand, were you to try and keep me from my task. But there are more dangerous things in these caves than this poor soul. What is your task? I've been in this cave for many centuries. The Draugr you met in this place are not my kin. Mindless creatures, driven only by the desire for living flesh. My story is quite different. It's not like I have an option. Go ahead and spell it. I was once a mage of most uh, of the people who call themselves the Skull. I was a powerful mortal, beyond uh, powerful beyond their reckoning. But I strayed. I delved into the black arts, became learned in the ways of ma necromancy. When this was discovered, I was cast out by my people. Alone, I wandered to this place. I continued to learn what I could of the ways of the living flesh and the energies that animate. I became a summoner. I communicated with the Daedra. It was then that I learned of their machinations, their plans to destroy my people. A group of Frost Daedra had taken up residence deep in the bowels of this island. I thought at first that it was, uh, that it was my doing, that I had somehow uh, summoned these fiends, but they were beyond my abilities. I learned that they, could, uh, that they would wipe this island clean of life, slaughter my people and all that we held dear. I knew that I must act. I tried to warn my people, but I was an empty voice to them, as though I were dead. So I used my magic to erect a barrier deep in this ice, strong enough to contain these Daedra and keep them from overturning, overrunning the island. The barrier held for, ye uh, for years I maintained it, but I grew old, and I knew that my death would mean the death of all life on Solstheim. My life had to be extended, and so I used my knowledge of the black arts, and I turned myself into the creature that you see before you. A draw, an eater of flesh, uh, but it was my life. But my life was infinite. I could keep the barrier intact so that my people might survive. And now you appear to kill me, perhaps? You may have that power, but perhaps you have a greater purpose here. Fight with me, Dark Elf. Together we might vanquish these creatures and send them back to their unholy plane. I will lower the barrier, and we will cleanse the land of this scourge. Let us destroy these creatures together. This is wise. I will lower the barrier that keeps the demons at bay. You and I will be victorious, as the lives of all those above are forfeit if we are not. Frost Antronax are not exactly the kind of world ending that, was, <laughs> that I was expecting. Sorry. I guess I could give him a heal. It's 
still take too long. It is done. My time is over. You have done a service here today, both to me and the people of this island. Now I may rest. Before I go, take this, and may you have the strength of will to continue your own journey. Willpower and magic is not a bad little combo. which I hadn't explored yet, but... This state of loot is telling me no.
All right, so now I gotta figure out um, the levels aren't too hard to sort out. I just need to remember which corridors are the higher level and which ones are the lower. There we go. Doesn't help that these are what the entrances look like. If I have to use a levitation potion, I'm going to be upset. I found the Draugr Lord uh, Aislip and spoken with him. He tells me that he was once a powerful mage of the Skull People, exiled for his research into the necromantic arts. Aislip tells me th uh, that through his necromancy, he learned of a powerful group of Frost Daedra that were planning to take the island of Solstheim for their own. The Skull would not listen to his warnings and, as he was dead to them. Uh, through his magic, Aislip was able to keep the Frost Daedra at bay. Knowing that eventually his life would end the Daedra, uh, and the Daedra would escape, Aislip performed the rituals necessary to make himself one of the undead and continue to keep the Frost Daedra imprisoned. Aislip uh, believes that together we may defeat the Daedra, and he has asked for my help. I have agreed to, to fight with Aislip. Aislip and I have defeated the last of the Frost Daedra, and when the last of the Daedra fell, Aislip uh, realized that his task was finally complete and he was relieved of his undead state. Before he died, he gave me a magical ring. I was just looking for my handler, but I guess he went back to the village. Mind you, with this weather, I wouldn't blame him. I'm a little curious about this cave, though. the village. What of Aislip, my friend? You were sent to kill the powerful drog, uh, drog and to uh, and prove your strength to the skull. So he's defeated. It seems that there was more to that creature than any of us had imagined. You've done well, Caius. I, for one, would be proud to call you Skull. Return now to the Skull Village. I will meet you there in a while. They are matters that I must attend to.
You returned from the lake. You continue to surprise me, Caius. I have matters to attend to now, but we'll speak again soon. That, I promise you. Please, you must help! The village is under attack by werewolves! Outside, quickly! The werewolves attacking the Skull Village have been defeated. And everybody just gets on with <laughs> their day. One of the creatures went into the Great Hall. It must be stopped. Well, I don't see you doing anything about it. gone, but uh, it's definitely seeming like one of these might have been the boss man. I've only just arrived to this horror. I have, uh, it is good that you are here to protect these people. You've done well by the Skull. My worst fears have been realized, Caius. These creatures are werewolves, as you surely know. This is not a good omen for our village, and I have even more troubling news. I've used my magic to detect any of the infection these beasts leave in their wake. You, my friend, have been infected. The infection seems innocent enough. Some weakness, perhaps. Sometimes the effects are hardly noticeable. However, in three days' time, the victim will become a werewolf himself. It is fate that I would not wish upon my greatest foe. During these three days, though, a simple cure disease spell can stop the infection. I beg you to do this. Until then, I fear I cannot allow you to be part of our community, perhaps infecting others. When you have been cured, I hope that you will return to us again. Windai tells me that during the battle with the werewolves, he believes that I was infected by one of them. A cure disease spell will rid me of the affliction, but if I do not do this within three days, I may become a werewolf myself. Until I have been cured, Windai cannot allow me to become a part of the Skull community. Now I thought I was immune to disease, but apparently not. Ah, I no longer sense the infection in you. Uh, I am happy for you, and for the Skull as well. You have proven to be a valuable member of this community. You have been true to our people, and the Skull name you Blood Skull, a blood friend to our people. You will be given a home here, Rigmore Halfhand's former residence, in which you may rest. Also, it has been decided that you will take part in the Ristag, an important Skull ceremony. A ceremony, uh, the Ristag is a, a ceremony of blessing and cleansing that, all, that we Skull perform only very rarely. These are frightening times, my friend. There have been ominous portents, and they concern me. Heartfang is missing, and I fear that the Allmaker does not breathe freely on the Skull this day. The ceremony must be completed, but first I will need you to retrieve the Totem of Claw and Fang. Of course you're always going to make me do something. It is a powerful artifact, very sacred to the Skull people. It is used to call, us, uh, call to us powerful beasts that are used in the Ristag. It was stolen many years ago, and we of the Skull were foolish enough to believe that it would not again be needed. I have learned that it may be found in the tombs of Scalara, to the east and a bit south of here. Please return the totem. Hello again, friend. What may I do for you? Um, nothing really. I'm fine. But that seems like a good place to end it. Let me find my new home. I 
can't wait to fill it full of crap. Um, I think I'll bring my alchemy gear for sure. Maybe a couple of other details. But yeah, I can, I can see this working. It'll definitely save me a couple of trips back to Belmora when, uh, when I need to unload some of my wares. And then I can probably just use a um, an Elm CV intervention scroll when the time comes. But it's very early in the morning now for me, and now seems as good of a time as any to wrap up. So thank you very much for watching, and we will see you again next week.